Brian Hefner grew up in Traverse City, attending Central Grade School and Traverse City Junior High before graduating from Traverse City Central High School in 1982. He then attended the Police Academy at Northwestern Michigan College, graduating in 1988 at the top of his class with an associate's degree in law enforcement. Brian's involvement with police work began while he was a student at NMC as he became a member of the Citizens Band Packup, a group of citizens who acted as eyes and ears for the police department during the night shift, using Citizen Band radios to notify police of suspicious activities. He also worked special events as a volunteer reserve officer alongside certified police officers while attending school. Brian began his career with the Traverse City Police Department as a patrol officer in 1988. He was promoted to detective in 1993 and became sergeant in 1998. He went on to serve four years as administrative sergeant before being promoted to captain, a position he held until his retirement from the Traverse City Police Department in 2014. A lifelong learner, Brian has continued to pursue his education while serving the city of Traverse City. He earned a second degree from NMC in Business Administration, graduated from Ferris State University with a BS in Business Administration and a master's degree in Information Systems Management, and he completed a second master's degree in Public Administration from Eastern Michigan University. He is also a 2008 graduate of the FBI's Supervisor Leadership Institute and is currently enrolled in an educational doctorate program at Ferris State. Brian is committed to bettering our community through sound educational opportunities. He has been an adjunct professor in the Criminal Justice Department at Ferris State since 2013, and he recently was hired in 2015 to be the director of the Police Academy at Northwestern Michigan College. He is a dedicated and inspired teacher who is devoted to mentoring and assisting young police cadets in achieving an associate's degree and then entering Ferris State's bachelor's degree program. Brian has also been an active participant and leader in the Traverse City community. He has been a youth alcohol trainer with the Michigan Office of Highway Safety Planning, was a board member of the City of Traverse City Employees Retirement Fund, and has been president of Addiction Treatment Services. He has participated with United Way and Goodwill Industries on boards regarding homelessness in the area and assisted the Women's Resource Center and Northern Michigan Substance Abuse Services with publicity and fundraising. He also volunteers as a youth softball coach with the Traverse Area Girls Softball Program. Brian and his wife Kara are the proud parents of two young daughters, Elise and Erica. We are proud to recognize Brian Hefner for his exemplary professional service to the citizens of Traverse City for his dedication to lifelong learning, and for his continuing mentoring of young police professionals. I received a phone call from a member of the nominating committee of the TC Central Hall of Fame. I did not know I had been nominated, let alone chosen to be inducted into the 2015 Hall of Fame class. It is an unbelievable feeling to be recognized out of so many graduates of the great Traverse City Central High School. Traverse City Central gave me lasting memories, lifelong friends, and direction. The classes, programs, faculty, and staff have also given me the foundation I needed to succeed in many of my life goals, and also areas I didn't think were possible. I have many special memories of high school, and although it has been 33 years since graduating with the class of 1982, I can remember like it was yesterday when Joe Lemieux would open up the big gym before school started for many great pickup basketball games. Not only were the basketball games and camaraderie fun, we learned much more than basketball from Joe. We learned about life. Dr. Ayling, our principal, roaming the halls of the school and having impromptu conversations about what we were going to do after graduation and him offering a few suggestions. I really didn't understand all of his advice, but now after 33 years, I understand everything that he had to say, and I wish I would have had paid better attention back then. In offering a message to today's students going forward after high school, I would encourage you to push yourself out of your comfort zone. 
you may be surprised what you can accomplish. Set goals for yourself. Make them attainable. Once you reach that goal, set another one. Be a lifelong learner. Volunteer whenever you can. Not only will you be helping someone who really needs it, but you will be a much better person for doing it. And finally, doing the right thing isn't always the easiest or the most popular, but it is always the right thing to do.